A new group of EMTs are ready to serve the people of Pittsburgh. They graduated today and are the first class to get their certification from a special academy. KDK's Lauren Linder takes us to that ceremony. Here in Frankie Pace Park, nine people received their EMT certification as a part of the first class of the Freedom House EMT Academy, named after the first EMS service in the U.S., founded right here in Pittsburgh. Please give them a round of applause. It's official. You'll soon find these men and women working as EMTs on the streets of Pittsburgh. Just a few months ago, we were all strangers. Now we're pretty close friends. Marina Barbarella thought he would go to law school, but one day he drove by a car crash and decided to join a volunteer fire department. From that point, I just kind of fell in love with the field, started to realize that's what I wanted to do. Destined to become a first responder, he learned about the new Freedom House EMT Academy, applied for the program, and got in. We actually took people, uh, regular citizens, off the street and uh, put them through school and uh, showed them what EMS is all about. EMS Chief Amara Gilchrist says in the 25 years she's been with the Bureau, they never had an EMT training program until now. And it pays homage to the original Freedom House Ambulance Service, created in the 1960s in the Hill District. If it weren't for the men and women of Freedom House, I wouldn't be the chief of this department right now. It's a 12-week program that's all paid. The first class, all passed. I'm like the proud mama bear. I, I, I am just elated. Now Gilchrist looks forward to seeing how it evolves in the future and eventually hopes to start a paramedic academy as well. Through it all, trying to keep history alive. It's a really special feeling, like given the history of Freedom House and the long running roots and traditions of it, to uh, be able to bear its name is absolutely a privilege and an honor. The chief tells me the next class is going to start in September. For details on how you can apply to be a part of the program, visit our website, kdk.com. For now, reporting from downtown, Lauren Linter, KDK TV News.